The next 10 or 20 years is an incredibly critical time for humanity, I think. Human population's growing, demand for resources is growing, there are new stresses and strains on the global system. One of the things that we are, are trying to do as we look to the next 20 or 30 years is to both make sure that our decisions are having um, as few unintended negative consequences as possible, because we don't want to have to deal with too many problems coming down the road. But at the same time, I think we're, we're taking a lot of, of time and effort right now to reduce our risk. A lot of the ways that we use resources right now can have unintended negative consequences. So figuring out how to, for example, meet the energy needs of the growing human population without emitting a lot of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere really is an important thing. But at the same time that we're worrying about that, we can be trying to identify which people in which places on the planet are most likely to suffer stress because of you know, increasing intensities of drought or rainfall events or storminess or whatever else. So identifying who's vulnerable and then taking actions to reduce that vulnerability is a really important near-term job that we should be engaged in. I, I think there are challenges and there are risks associated with that. There are also some great opportunities associated with that. What we do today in terms of how we meet those needs for energy and water and food are going to have long-term implications. So the next 20 years matters for the, for the long term as well as for the short term.